Hello everyone, I am D-Mine, the mind of one and all, and welcome to a let's play of this war of mine. This is not a blind let's play, I've actually finished this game a couple of times already. As you can see here, I finished it twice with these two characters, or sets of characters. But before we jump into the game, let's check the options menu, shall we? So, music volume at max, sound effects at max, resolution 920 by 1080 GFX quality high, full screen on, pencil effect, soft or sketchy, I'll leave it as soft, and language default. Everything seems to be in order, so let's start, shall we? Now, out of all these characters, I think I want to start with Boris and Milia and Marin, because I've heard this, though I'm not sure, but apparently Boris has the maximum capacity of inventory slots in, compared to everyone else. Like, and Marco, and I thought Marco was, but apparently there's someone else. But the catch is he's slow, and I want to try that. I think it'll be really good. So let's get started. Whoa, day one and it is getting very cold. <laughs> Holy shit, they just... Are you serious? Well... <laughs> okay then. Now for those of you who have not played this game, Apparently, normally, normally, you start out with normal temperature, so you don't need to build a fight, a heater immediately. You can just focus on other stuff. And then, later on, it will start to snow and then you have to worry about getting heater and fuel to keep the fire going so that you don't freeze to death. Apparently, this time, they just toss you right into the snow. It's like, yep. Okay, I guess. That's the catch for playing with Boris. <laughs> okay, so months of incessant bombardment have turned this part of town into a sea of ruins. While most of the residents have fled to seek shelter in districts less exposed to sniper fire, the abandoned tenements attract those less fortunate, who have nowhere else to hide. Marin lost everything in the fire that destroyed his workshop. Boris and Amelia once had families, and now they are both the lone survivors. They come across a house that still offers some protection from the elements and decide to weather the siege together inside its walls. Okay then. Um, <laughs> if you don't know what I'm doing and I'm thinking as to what strategy I should be doing because I can't keep the same strategy, I think I should build a still first then, right? Alright, so first, you get there, strong but slow and you're slightly sick. Of course we have no supplies. So normally the strategy is, I build a metal workshop first, and then immediately build a crowbar and a shovel and scavenge everything around this place. But for now, I don't know, should I build a heater? We'll see, let's scavenge what we can. You open that. Boris, uh, you try it. Cool. Take all. Boris, you get over there. You, uh, get over there. You get over there. Everything. Well, it seems they're a bit more generous with the supplies this time. I guess they have to. Still. Everything. Nope. I said you get that. Uh. Holy shit. 
I've never played a game where I started out in the snow already. Am I gonna affect the temperature? Negative one degree Celsius. Great. And by great, I mean that's horrible. <laughs> uh, Alright, switch that. Everything. Try. What should I do? Do I build the? Alright, we'll build the metal workshop first. Yeah, either way. Put it right next there. Alright, you open that. Okay. Still 9 a.m. 9:20 a.m. We'll see how we go. Alright. So, yeah. Build a shovel immediately. So we can get started. Alright, grab everything. Dig to. Oh, we get the heat already! Alright, let's go, let's go. Go quickly build that shovel. Alright, now build Cobra. You stop using your hands and use this. Alright, I see. And then I guess I send you over here. Much easier with my shovel. Alright. Yep. Oh wait, I should probably build something else too. I think I should build a bit next. At least one bit. And I don't have the supplies. Great. Finish that. Alright. Oh, no. You get back to shoveling that. Oh, okay. Still can't build it. Oh, that's not really important. And I think I accidentally sent him up. I got books. So, alright, so they gave us a seat already. And. Do we have fuel already? Yeah, we have. Yeah, we have nine fuel. So, we should probably start burning. We get there. Alright. So, the temperature you should normally keep it at is. 15, around there, 14, 15. So now that it's snowing, I think I have to use all my fuel, like put it at max. Okay, got bandages, that's good to see. Sugar and water. And just one sugar cube, I think that was. So, can we build a bit? No, we can't. So we don't have the bike to build a bit. Great. What can we build though? You no, build this. We have them. I think that's it for today, I guess. Oh wait, no, there's there's still that cupboard. Open that. Alright, the day's ending. And as always, I 
was able to scavenge everything from this place on day one. Medicine, few books and shoes. Not parts though, fortunately. So I think we should end the day already. Unless there is something else I want to do, which I don't think so. Yeah, there's nothing I want to do. End the day. The night. Now, this should normally be the case, but in the first place you get to visit, normally it's empty, like there should be no enemies, and you just get a bunch of parts. Hopefully it's still the same. So, yep, you get 17 slots, but you're strong but slow. But that's alright. Talented lawyer and a handyman. So you're good at building, and you're totally useless. <laughs> So we have the handyman sleep and the lawyer guard. I don't think yeah, we don't need to take anything with us for now. Alright. So our priority here is parts and wood. Hopefully the snow goes off quite fast, but Something tells me that won't be the case. Boy, they won't kill him when he's slow. He's really s quite slow. But that's still alright. We have plenty of time. Alright. What it says here? The baby carriage isn't empty. A few objects lie scattered inside. A velo, a smiling red crab, well worn by baby teeth. A feeding bottle half full of congealed mass that was probably a baby formula someone must have left in a terrible rush or maybe they didn't need them anymore. Alright. Oh great. <laughs> no, literally. A great. <laughs> oh, I mean that's an actual great there. So, coffee beans. Alright, I think we just grab everything for now. Alright. Meat, veg, parts. We need a lot of parts. Wood. Alright, we don't need the coffee beans and we don't need the fertilizer right now. Books. We don't need. I think that's I found the this ammo. We don't have guns, and it's useless. Hearts. Hello, hearts. Um, we don't need weapon parts. More parts. Yeah. Do we really need the food right now? No, we don't. Cause we only need to feed them at day 3, but I don't want to lose them. Cause in my last playthrough, I wasn't aware. So, the first thing I did was, I gathered all the supplies and put them in one storage area. And then, only to find out the next time I went there, most of them were gone. <laughs> I know, crazy right? I mean, who would have thought that people would come and take the supplies? You know this game does that. So there's two grates blocking us. I don't think I can make a saw blade yet. I don't have the parts. That's good enough for now. Time to exit. I don't think I need a shovel. Yep, I don't see anywhere where I would need to take a shovel or a crowbar. At least, not where I see. Though I do need a saw blade for that. Can I climb up here? Nope. Okay, so we'll run to the exit. Run, Boris. Boris is back. Day 
two. Hello, look at all this stuff. I wish I could bring so much every night. If only you could. Marin clearly isn't well. He could do with some pills. Crap. Wait, what do you say? I had a beautiful girlfriend, Anna. We had a kid, a wonderful son. Luca was just like me. He was only seven and already stronger than all the other kids. I bet he would have grown up to become a great weightlifter, as I always wanted to be. If I had saved him. Uh huh. He's a smoker too. Oh. Yeah. So apparently, I noticed if you have smokers and you make cigarettes, they're gonna smoke. I know, crazy, right? But they're gonna smoke your cigarettes, so it's kind of pointless to make cigar. Anyway, you're hungry, slightly sick and tired. Oh yeah, we don't have a bit yet, so you go make a bit. Bed. Put it upstairs near the heater. You make something to... We need a what? We need a stove. Yeah, that's one of the first few things we need, but before that, let me check out things. I have water, so I can make food. Yep, vegetables. Alright, so... I think I have food for day 3. Slap worry, hungry. Oh, sick too. What are you doing? Go make the bed. Can we upgrade this? Yes, we can, and I think we should. So we can make that saw blade. Two saw blades, actually. Oh. Then, you need pills, so take it. You do the metal workshop. I put a heater up at full, come on. Alright, slap poorly, hungry. Okay. We need food. Not yet. We don't. Oh yeah, that weapon part. Uh huh. Should have brought it back. <laughs> oh, we're off to a great start already. All right. So how's my time? All right. I think that's it for the first episode. So hope you enjoy my channel. Leave a like. In the comment if you enjoyed don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you hopefully on the next video